I'm back. <laughs> oh my god, I'm back, dolls. <laughs> it's been a while. Oh my god, I've not posted in literally, I feel like two weeks now. Yes, oh my god, two weeks. So, my car had issues. I started off July very sick. Um, the hurricane in Houston, it was just one thing after the other. July was just not that month for me. Um, July did not like me at all this year. Um, I just had the worst July ever. Like it's literally the worst month I've ever had in a long time. Like it was one thing after the other. So I just needed a break. I feel like if I'm not in the best mood or not even in the best mood, but if a lot of stuff is going on around me, I can't vlog i have to it just it's just going to be a disservice to you dolls like i'm not going to give you the best of myself so i just needed to take time off and just not vlog anything and i was active on tiktok but just leave youtube alone because youtube takes me longer to edit and stuff and film and i just was not in for it i have made a vow to myself with youtube whenever it's just too much i'm not going to put out any content i'm just going to take a break and i'll let you dolls know whenever like whenever i have a lot going on in my personal life i need to take that break <laughs> it feels not fair to make content if you're just not there and i want to make the best content like and that was my vow at the beginning of this year i want to make like really good content so if i am not physically there mentally there <laughs> i'm not gonna um come on camera like if there's a lot not even just just if there's a lot going on like for instance my car was like messed up completely um just a lot i was sick i'm not gonna just put a camera in my face in those moments um so that's just a vow to you dolls whenever you see me off camera know that i have a lot even if it's just work like i'm business stuff or things that have nothing to do with youtube i need that break and i will take it and it wouldn't be more than two weeks i promise Dolls, did you like that bouquet? I'm obsessed with it. The girlies on TikTok are obsessed with it. I love it. <laughs> just wanted some summer flowers and I just want to make my place just look pretty and smell pretty. But I'm about to use it and I'm going to tell you what we're about to do. Okay, dolls, so this is going to be the most random vlog. I just wanted to come back on camera and catch up with you dolls. Um, but I want to make it a cute like kiss goodbye to the summer and I wanted to make finally my summer simmer pot. <laughs> You dolls know I love simmer pots and I'm going to be showing you how to make a summer one and this is a citrusy one. It's going to make your home smell amazing. So let's go and make a summer simmer pot with the flowers that I just got. Okay, so I just made some coffee. Now I am going to be doing dun, 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 a simmer pot. So I'm going to be doing a simmer pot, a summer simmer pot. Such a tongue twister. Um, I have all my stuff out here, the um, honey, my jars, and I'm going to get all my fruits out and flowers and stuff. So, oh my God, that looks so pretty. Just look at that. It looks so aesthetically pleasing. I love that. So anyway, I'm going to be making a summer simmer pot. I have so many like stuff to add in this one. This one's going to be better than, I feel like this one's going to be better than my winter one. I think the last one I showed you was the winter one. Oh my God, it's been a while so um i've got some flowers fresh flowers everything ready i'm gonna start now and show you how i do my simmer pot so before we start i want to show you this box that i got from amazon and it's got like it smells so amazing every time i like lift that up it smells really really good so it's got all of the stuff that i would possibly ever want for to make a simmer pot or to make tea and it's basically dried flowers. So you got this one. I cannot wait to use this one. I'm going to be using this one for like autumn, fall. It's like something seasonal for each thing. You've got like what stuff that I can't even pronounce, to be honest. Look at these. Like they smell so good. Like the minute you open this box, they even have jasmine. Like I never even knew jasmine looked like this, to be honest. Um, can't wait to use this again in the fall. They have dried roses, so many, so many different types. Carnation. These are the ones I'm going to be using today. So we're going to use them from red plum, lily, lavender, and then, and then dried rose, which I've already used some of this already. So they've got like so many. I believe there's like up to 30 in this box alone. They have more boxes. Like you can get up to 200 of them. Like I didn't even know we have that many flowers in this world. Um, and then they even have, look, dried lemons. 
look at that like dried lemons so many like i could be here all day look at this rose petals um look at these this is this is i got this one separately so these ones are just like pressed down dried flowers so you've got daisies all sorts are on here look at that like different pink ones so i'm going to be using this for something else i actually want to make a candle so i'm thinking i'm going to use that to make a candle so we've got all of our materials we've got the fruits in the fridge that i've sliced already and we're going to get started i'm going to show you how i make my summer simmer pot and i'm also going to include the links of all of this stuff i showed you and then i'm also going to include i mean the honey pot as well let me show you that so i got this this that's gonna say rose <laughs> i got this honey pot off of amazon i am gonna link it it's so pretty oh my goodness it is just so and it's all glass so you just take it off don't want to get honey everywhere but look look at that look everything is glass i love it it's just so pretty it looks so gorgeous in my coffee bar so we're going to be using that today i don't know why i placed it on top of here we're going to be using that today um and that's the first time i'm using it so everything i showed you is going to be linked down below i'm going to actually going to pin it in the comment section so you can get all of this stuff here to make your own summer simmer pot we're going to be doing we're going to make this on my channel seasonal so we're going to have one for spring winter and then we're going to have the fall christmas one <laughs> we're gonna have um the summer like all season we're gonna do a simmer pot for some like for some for whatever the theme is so anyway as i said this will be linked down below i'll pin it in the, in the comment section they have so many different sizes this is the 30 pack there are so many sizes you can get and then i'm going to link the jar as well because a lot of people absolutely love this jar like it's just so pretty like i would have put in a put it in a haul video but i couldn't wait to use it it's just too pretty so anyway let's get started okay so we have strawberries i'm gonna put two strawberries in here because strawberries kind of bleed and i don't want that bleeding <laughs> so we have two lemons two cut oranges you can add more if you want but this is just how much i'm doing to fit inside the pot um and we have a lot of time so i want a lot of time in this and then we've got our honey well it's just fell off and then we've got our honey and we've got our pot i'm using a clear pot because i love the fact i can see like the magic <laughs> I love to see through and see all of the stuff mixed together so that's why i use a clear pot you can use any pot you want i've done it before with my pink pots so it doesn't matter about using a glass pot but anyway so and i've got all of this on the side as well um so yeah let's get started and i'm not going to talk because i like the the vibe i want you to feel the vibe so i'm not going to talk from this point on i'm just gonna make it
so it smells absolutely amazing in here the best way i can describe it is like a summer smell literally citrusy summer smell and it just oh love it like it's just going through my apartment like a candle um and look at the bottom of it it's got like a citrus look to it so the oranges and lemons the mint it's just given this citrus summer smell that i love and even the strawberries i can kind of smell that as well so i'm going to pin it so you can have the whole thing to yourself so you can recreate this yourself and trust me you will come back on my video and comment how much you love the smell like it's such a summer smell so i'm just gonna leave that on while i get on with other stuff for the day but that is how you make my summer simmer pot so that's it so i'm gonna have the recipe for the simmer pot down below i'm gonna pin it in the comment section so you dolls can remake this i'm telling you my whole apartment smells like citrus like citrus heaven like it smells amazing it's a must-have it's like a natural candle that's what i always say like making a simmer pot gives your place like this natural candle and i keep turning the stove back on so i can smell it more <laughs> okay so now we're done the simmer pot i want to talk about fall because fall autumn whatever you want to call it is almost here like we have just a few more weeks i'm starting early i am starting a business where every I, this has been highly recommended so many people on tiktok instagram even on youtube have told me start selling your diys and i'm gonna start doing that so i'm going to be doing some full pumpkins some christmas decorations like bits and pieces here and there so i can't wait to take you dolls on this journey i'm going to be vlogging when all the materials get in and i'll be vlogging parts of making it so stay tuned i'm gonna have an etsy where you can buy all of my diys i am excited so i can't wait to show you dolls my Christmas and fall DIYs that I'm going to be selling I get so many compliments on everything I make pretty much and I get so many people like who don't want to make them I'm like it's so easy to make them and they're like no sell it to me so I can't wait to like actually sell these pieces to you they're going to be limited because obviously I'm a one person so I can't do so many things for everyone so they're going to be limited first come first um, served it might be on my website it might be on Etsy I'm not sure just yet where I'm going to post them. And another reason I want it limited is because I don't want everyone to have it. I love, if you know me, you know I love things that not everyone can have. I love that limited feel to it, like a unique feel to it. What is the word? Someone comment in the comment section. Um, exclusive. I love that. So I want it limited for that reason. Not everyone should have it. <laughs> But I mean, as much as you could, like whoever first first come, first first served. Um, don't know why that's a tongue twister for me. But yes, so the first people who come will get it. So stay tuned, stalk my page, stalk my Instagram, stalk my TikTok. You will see it soon on the pages and it's going to go for sale really quickly. And another announcement, I'm going to be re-releasing -re -re my clothing line. I am going to be designing new pieces. It's going to have a whole new filter and redoing my logo and everything. So stay tuned for that on lblondon.com. A lot is going on, a lot of stuff you can buy from me. So stay tuned for everything LB on my website and on Etsy. Just stay tuned. I'm so excited for fall and Christmas. Come and see where I store all my decorations. Let's go and review it really quickly. Like, I can't wait. I can't wait to pull it out. It's about to come into my, like, into the actual apartment. Like, I can't wait. Let's go and look at my story. Hey, doll, so this is where I store on the balcony. <laughs> A lot of decorations, as you can see. So this was for my birthday. Do you remember this? So this is still here that you... Do you remember, if you don't remember my birthday, go to my um, pin, it's not my pin video, but it's like the main video on my page. You'll see this whole wall. So that's there for my birthday. It's still here, the flower wall. And um, we've got the Valentine's Day. We've got the Easter bunnies. We've got the Christmas decorations. I can't wait. It's going to be coming in soon. It's so amazing how the seasons go really, really fast. So that is all of that in there. So this is what's on my balcony. I can really fill this up with more stuff. And I'm surprised the heat, because look, there's like heat that comes in here from the sun. I'm surprised it's not damaging any of this stuff. Like everything just is still good. And in this storage, we have more stuff. We have the Christmas stuff. So I've got the table runner. We've got this. Look at that. We've got this. Oop, oop, oop. I don't want to like drop any of this. Look. 
we've got these we've got all the pillows like the covers um we've got this bell who remembers all this stuff comment down below so we've got this bell from last year's christmas well the one that just went by um we've got this who remembers this we've got our bow look at this so this was the boat this was on top of my christmas tree if you rem if you know you know <laughs> we've got autumn pillows the pumpkin season is almost ready <laughs> we've got some more christmas like some christmas pillows i always pull this out every year because it's just so like like what other pillow would i use you know um <laughs> we've got this one this one was from hobby lobby can't wait this is all the full stuff inside here we've got these pumpkins i don't know if i'll be using this one this year we'll see because it's kind of brown it's not like pink looking it's brown in the middle but i don't know it kind of it's not going to go with my couch if that makes sense i feel like it just it clashes we've got all things bright and beautiful i love this and it's just perfect and they don't have that at home goods anymore i got that like four years ago we've got this which i diy this was from dollar tree and i just added the rhinestone trim on it so that's a that's a tree skirt we might change it up this year and we've got like so many christmas decorations look look and i just added a bow this is from 99 cent store dolls let's do a poll should i do gold and silver this year no, silver and pink or gold and silver. Comment in the comment section which theme should I have for Christmas this year. And for fall decorations, should I add like brown tones, other colours other than pink in my fall? Like let me know. Oranges, let me know. Comment that in the comment section. Let, let me go and show you this pumpkin really quick. Dolls, look, it's almost that season. <laughs> this is so cute so i diy this so this is the kind of stuff you'll be able to buy from my page very soon look it's almost that season i can't wait it's so pretty <laughs> i'm obsessed so i'm going to be doing like more types of different designs but this is kind of giving you an idea of what I'm going to be selling. So look at this pumpkin. It's almost that season. It's almost pumpkin season. I'm excited. It's just so gorgeous. Like, can you imagine? Like, my kitchen's going to be covered in pumpkins really soon. Seriously, how gorgeous is this whole setup? So pretty. I can't wait to get the candles out. I'm excited how my kitchen's going to be looking like. It's not going to be what you think. <laughs> Stay tuned. So if you're new in my channel... At the end of every video, I always do a secret emoji. Um, it helps. I always ask you to comment that it helps me know who has been watching to the end of the video. So today's secret word, because it's we did a summer simmer pot, let's do the sun emoji, a lemon, and a strawberry in the comment section down below. Dolls, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big fat thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, subscribe down below. Let me know what you enjoyed about this video in the comment section. And I will see you dolls in my next one. I love you dolls so much. Smooches. Bye. Bye. Bye dolls.